Hello, water signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the general tarot reading for all you water signs out there for July 2023. So that just means if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, then this is your general tarot reading. And it's for July 2023. It looks like the main theme here is new beginnings. So you water signs will be going through some type of new beginning in the month of July. Let's see what else we have. Over here, I see the disruption card next to the heart chakra card. Wow, this heart chakra card is in the same position as the earth sign reading was for the month of July, but... Yours has a little bit different meaning here. What I see is that there was a particular disruption within your being that led to kind of an opening of your heart in some way. Maybe it caused you a new higher level of understanding and it created some new feeling for you surrounding something, which has now led to some new beginning. Over here, I see the intuition card next to triumph, triumphant success. So with this new beginning, this new outlook, this new perspective of the world, it's going to open up your inner knowingness, your intuition. And that is going to help you to change your thoughts. Like in a sense, your thoughts may have been very stagnant in a certain situation, but now it's like a whole new light is going to be shining in on your thinking surrounding a certain situation due to that, you know, sense of a new beginning along with heightened intuition that you water signs will be experiencing in the month of July. All right, now I will shuffle the Rider weight deck and just get a little clarity on this reading for you water signs. For July 2023. One more shuffle. Okay, so we have Ace of Swords now is reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of of wands and then the three of wands reversed. All right. So I do feel like maybe this disruption had to do with um, not realizing oh, how do I want to explain? Because it definitely had something to do with maybe a communication that came through quickly like on the internet or something like that. You know, with this eight of swords here. But um, the ace of, or that's wands. I'm sorry. The eight of wands is representing to me information coming in fast. It's like the internet. It's like, or some form of quick communication like that. Something affected your thinking in some way or opened up your understanding in some way. But um, the disruption could have been that you weren't accepting this at first. And it was causing some level of unhappiness. Like you felt like, it's almost like feeling like your your desires aren't being met. Your emotional needs aren't being met in some way. In some circumstance that had to do with your thinking. Now we have the three of wands being reversed because it's like, Whatever this information is, it had to do with something with either you or someone not really looking into the future, not looking at where this communication or this particular thing would lead you, right? But what I see here is in the end, a heightened intuition and triumphant success. So I do see that it's all going to be reconciled in some way due to this disruption causing an opening in your understanding, in your heart chakra, in your relationships, possibly leading to this new beginning. All right. And so now water signs, I will be shuffling the crystal angel cards and we'll just see what card comes out for you for advice for July, 2023 for all you water signs out there. 
We got the opal. This one says, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. I feel like with this card, this new beginning could just be you connecting so much more with your true thoughts, your true beliefs, and your true feelings. I feel like the outer disruption is causing an inner new beginning. And you're literally going to feel like a whole new person because it says here you're being guided to be bold. And show your bigger than life side to the world. It's like you've been holding something in. Something that you wanted that could bring you your heart's desires. So as you begin to let it out and release it. And step into this new beginning. You will see how you will sparkle and shine. Alright water signs. I'm going to shuffle the wisdom of the oracle deck. And I will pull three cards. This will be your final message moving forward for July 2023. Okay. First we have the nope, not for you. So I feel like whatever this disruption in your life was and all of this, like, you know, whatever it was, it wasn't for you, which is what did eventually cause you to open up to a new level of understanding, a new way of thinking and feeling, right? New beginning. The new beginning is going to or has sprung from you knowing what you don't want. Next card is clean it up. So once you know what you don't want, it's time to clean it up. Clean up your thinking, your feelings, your attitude towards certain situation, maybe even your whole entire outlook on life and where it's going. So now is kind of like a time, this new beginning is a time for you, a chance for you to really clear up your own beliefs and understandings around certain situations, certain people, certain things in your life. And then we get the to be fair card following that. So I feel like it's a time for you to weigh and balance your understandings and beliefs and enter into this new beginning with a new balance, a new balanced wisdom. See the owl on her head? And look, there's that fortune cookie with no on one side. And there's an egg, which is like a new beginning on the other. Oh my gosh. How perfect, right? So your fortune cookie, not for you on one side. And the egg, the new beginning on the other. So it's through this balancing of the two that causes you to have more wisdom, symbolized by the owl on her head. So what a great way for this month to wrap up for you guys. It's going to cause a new level of clarity in a multitude of ways as long as you remain open and just, you know, continue to clean up what is not for you in your life, in your thinking, and your feelings. All right, water signs. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and share this video with all your water sign friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer, but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on that notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.